Yo yo, Rangulius here. You are watching Orange Feels Like Playing Manor Lords. This game just came out today. Uh, looks like a lot of fun. I've seen a couple videos on it already, so thought I'd uh, come in and check it out. Um, we're just gonna start a new game off here and uh, see how it goes. I know it's kind of like a city builder type game, which I love, and also has some military aspects to it as well. Which is also pretty sweet. I liked uh, Total War games and uh, Bannerlord and all that kind of stuff. So thought this game would uh, jive with me real good. So we're going to give it a try. So I wonder if you start off. Just, does it make a difference? Yeah, I can change my name. Okay. Um... Well, we're obviously going to be Lord Rangulius. Just go with this guy. Do I have to put Lord there, or do I just put Rangulius and then they put Lord in front of me? I'll probably just put my name. Okay. And then our coat of arms. That's sweet. I actually like that one. That one's freaking sweet. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. The so field A. The top right here. So it changes the pattern just in that section. That's sweet. Okay. So I might go some sort of like traditional, like we're a Sir family. I kind of like the first checkered one. I'm going to stick to the checkered one up here. Um, I really love... Midnight purple. Is that an option? There's a purple there. Not nearly dark enough, but I think that'll have to do. So, we'll go purple. Do I want to go gold? Purple and gold is not the worst. It's a little too. Uh, the yellow is a little. Eh, uh, we'll go purple and gold. And then probably black for our final color here. Uh, maybe we'll have to go white. Black might not be, uh... I'll put a symbol there. Might have to go white here. Yeah, white pops out a bit more there. Okay, so... What kind of symbol do I want in this corner here? Um, so there's dragons. There is the sun kind of thing that's in the bottom there, but I'm going to make this. Traditional Celtic tree. I'm gonna go with the, the 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 bird here. Okay, so you can change the amount. That's pretty cool. I'm just gonna go with one. Change the scale. And reverse the image. You can even move the tiling. It's, that's pretty sweet, I must say. 
I think that should be fine. And then the angle. I'm gonna just keep it. Keep it up and down there. Um. An older form of marshalling. Combining two coats of arms into one by cutting them in the middle. Not too sure what that does. I'm just gonna leave it off for now. Um. Let's actually bring the scaling back. I'm not actually sure if I'm a fan of that bird anymore. Might want to go with a different... Like the eagle that was on the top there. No, we'll stick with the bird. I think that's good. Okay, so we'll move on to the next field. So that's more like tradition corner, like old family. What do I want this corner to kind of be? go solid like it is. Oh, shoot. That's not what I want. Field B. So it's solid. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't make this too busy. I went back to that bird. That bird. Where's the scaling? This one? It says it's the same. But. 1.1 happens if I go with black back I kind of like that a lot okay we're gonna keep that um let's go field C I actually kind of like the what happens if we go purple here? No, I actually like that gold, yellow. I might get rid of the symbol and just leave it. There may be a symbol in there that I might like to put in there. Maybe a pattern. I don't know if I want a pattern. It kind of looks kind of cool when it's solid like that. I don't want to make it too busy. gonna go solid um and then is there any kind of
Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know if I like that. Like I said, I think I might want to just make it simple. I'm gonna move on to Bill C for now. Um, I kind of wish I could move that symbol down, to be honest. I wish you could move these around. I don't know if I can't see that that's a thing. Okay, so we have the birds on the top. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. It's a scaling. I don't like how it cuts it off. I almost wish it could have uh, overlapped with the other stuff. It's gonna make it right on the corner there. Might change the color of that red bird. For something so simple but I think that's pretty cool that they have a little bit of detail in your banner there uh, scenario templates rise to prosperity fill the requirements of your citizens plan and rule your medieval town as you see fit without worrying about combat uh, I'm not gonna pick that reach a large town settlement level after that you may choose to continue in endless mode yeah, no, we're gonna want some combat here. Premise. Two territories in the north are claimed by the illegitimate Baron, whose castle is located off the map. Bandit camps reside bandit camps reside in the other unclaimed regions. Build and expand at your own pace. When ready, challenge the Baron for the northern territories. Victory conditions conquer every region. Okay, so it's like a territory war on the edge. Grow your city, raise forces as quickly as you can. The lands are pestered with raiders and undefended settlements will quickly perish. Victory conditions? Survive all the attacks and reach the large town settlement level. Okay, well, well I guess we're going to just start with the middle one here. More coming soon. All city building is still under rework. Sweet. Or is that AI? 
AI city building is still under rework. So there'll be more scenarios as uh, as the game continues updating. Sweet, awesome. Uh, temple difficulty, so relaxing. Changes the settings on the side there, challenging. We'll just stick with default for now. End goal, domination. So that's the scenario. Conquer every region. Eliminate all other lords by claiming their territory. AI components. AI opponent. Work in progress. Off. So I, I'm assuming eventually here they're going to have other options where you can put kind of like a... a RTS games where you're gonna have other opponents on the map where you're gonna have to compete for stuff Sweet well, that's not in yet, but that's that's cool that that's kind of something they're gonna do off map adversary Adds an AI com opponent located off map He controls two regions and brings his soldiers to the main game map when challenged To present so that's just like the scenario, I guess, right now. What's the absent, present? Okay, so you just on and off. AI aggressiveness. So it's balanced right now. Obviously, there's probably really a challenge. Aggressive, reactive, balanced. Only when press claims towards the player's region, but only when protect their own. There's regions after they run out of neutral regions to claim. So they will attack us eventually. Raider frequency, medium. More than a single raid every two years. Possibly less than a year between each raid. None. Medium. Okay. Raider for years, two. Two year years before raids start happening. Then you can change that. Three, one, two, or three. Okay, initial bandit cap. It's just one. And you can change that to five or none. One to five or none to five. Uh, random bandit camp spawn limit, three. And spawn, stop spawning if there are already three of them. So you can put it, so they, they spawn randomly throughout the year, I guess. And the, I guess that's the cap. Okay, so three is the cap normally. How many can you actually, it's probably five, yeah. So zero, three, or five, okay. Starting season, spring, so obviously the easiest is probably spring. Red is the, you can start planting and building. It makes the most sense to start the game off like that. Obviously if you started in winter time, that'd be hard as shit. Um, okay, sweet. Is that just spring, summer, autumn, random, winter? Do random, so you can always do like a little bit of challenging stuff where you just kind of start at random there. Starting supplies, standard, double, nothing, standard, okay. Armament delivery, a free weapon delivery from militia as soon as the player builds a storehouse and a five residential plots. Free weapon delivery from militia as soon as so you just get a free weapon yes or no i'm assuming okay that's just part of the scenario residential requirements town will not grow if requirements are unfulfilled balanced demanding requirements triggering loss of approval are shifted by one level to be more demanding Triggered is loss of approval. Don't know what that really means. Tolerant. Triggering loss of approval or shifted. So, obviously, I guess you'll have approval ratings. Is that kind of... Obviously, we'll figure out what that mechanic is. I'll just keep it at balance like it normally is. Approval. Approval factors have an average impact on population growth. So, uh, I'm assuming approval is like just like happiness. Okay. Average impact on population. High low average okay well placement players may only place wells on top of underground water well that makes the most sense unconstrained underground water so it's just like you can place wells wherever or only where water is so 
I'll just keep it where it's normally at. Weather events. Balanced. Players get warn a warning if supplies get soaked and when their next rain comes, they may get destroyed. Oh shit. A chance of random droughts in the summers which may kill crops. Rare fires caused by thunderstrikes. Oh shit. So natural disasters do occur in this game. Warning if supplies get soaked. When the next rain comes, they may get destroyed. Well, there better be a, like a storage spot. Difficult droughts may happen in the summers. Fires and rain instantly damages exposed. Okay, so you can cover. I'm assuming it just costs money to cover supplies, like build stores and shops. Okay. Okay, so that's the settings there. Cool. Let's move on. Let's begin the map here. Let's try this out. Hell yeah. Goldhoff. A new message. Victory condition dominance. Build your own town, your manor, and when ready, press claims toward the regions owned by your opponents. Once a claim has been pressed, be ready for battle. I'll unite these lands under my rule. Claim all opponents' regions. Okay. In manor lords, families need food and fuel and a roof above their heads to survive supplies in the region panel above shows how much you've got left all this stuff skip all future now nah, i'm gonna keep this i will definitely need the tutorial for now so unassigned families without an assignment will work on construction including guiding the ox to transport timber Assigned. These families will focus on the job they were assigned to. Living space. How many families this region can currently accommodate? To increase it, build or expand your urgage plots. So I have like nothing here. I have five homeless people's tents. Pits, hinds, so I have like unassigned waiting. I have an ox. Lawrence? Okay, what is this? Population 10. No population growth. All burgess slots are occupied. Level 1 families. Five of them. Looks like five guys and two girls. Or is that kids and children? Or like adults and children? I don't know. Almost all cases. Resources and manor lords have to be physically moved. It can take a moment, so feel free to change the game speed if you like. Game speed controls are at the bottom right. So this stuff here? Okay. Where would it be a good spot for my... I'm going to actually move my camera down. Just give me a sec here. Maybe something pops up in the bottom there, but... For now, I'll just move my stuff there. Okay. We'll keep going here. All right. Got it. Okay, what's the rest of the stuff? Approval. Controls overall population growth, as well as morale of militia rallied from this settlement. I'm at 50% right now. Recent 30 days, none. Previous, none. Public order. Governs the chance of crime occurring. So there's crime, as well as citizens permanently turning into banditry. Okay. Regional wealth. 
amount of money owned by villagers from this region can be used for import or converted to treasury via a tax policy. Livestock, one. Stable space, one. We got an ox. Pasture space, zero, zero. Sheep and lamb. Okay. Number of months before supplies run out. Every burgage plot consumes one food and one uh, fuel per month. Fuel consumption in the winter is doubled. Shit. Additionally, some workplaces consume one fuel per month as well. Workplaces. Food, four months. Fuel, no consumption. There's a lot of shit up top here. So, current settlement name, settler's camp. Press to open development view. Each level gets you development point that you can use to specialize your town and make it more efficient. Next settlement, level, small village. Burgage plots, level one or higher, five. A new message. I have heard of your renown. I only seek to defend my rights and my honor against those who would wrong me. I hope you will not judge me by the rumors and slander that comes some may spread about me, signed and sealed by my own seal, Idbolt von Birenbrut. Write back and conversation. Who is this guy? Is that the... Is that our rival? Write back. Rhetoric, negotiation, declaration. You have no right to claim... Selbitz and a... And Hossen. Hear his little bolt von Buren. Drop paragraph here. Current relations, nothing, work in progress. I require silver for my endeavors. Your time has come. You have no right. So nothing really I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. Oh shit, what's this? This view shows you which regions are under whose control you can press claims to other regions when you gain enough influence okay so hoss is that just the name of the area? Spelvin, claim with influence, claim with king's favor. 2000 influence. Goldhoff, this is where I am. You control this region. Wild animals. What is this? Oop, shit. Oh, if you zoom out. Okay. So there's iron deposits. Rich deposit, 2000. Stone deposit, 180. Berry deposit, 8 out of 64. Seasonal and growing, so it probably replenishes every season. Clay deposit, 98. Wild animals, 39 of 40. Rich deposit. Okay, so we have a lot of... We're pretty abundant here. Hidebolt von Beer Outlaws. Well, I don't really see any need to entice anyone right now. Diplomacy with Hinvolt. You zoom out and you can do diplomacy. It says you can see who controls this. So this is called Wallbrand, but who controls it? Nobody? Is that what that means? And then this off sign. Selvitz. Those are like gold. These are grayed out. I'm assuming that means that nobody's claimed them. So then how do I actually see who's claimed this? Like I'm assuming this is hit hill bolts area. 
trade point. Cheap goods for import. Good value export. Trade point. Tra so every zone has like a trade point. Unless you're in the middle of a map. Trade points. Okay. Well. I'm only assuming that these are hill bolts. This one is red, which is mine. And then these are gray, which are probably just unclaimed or bandit territory. That's what my assumption is. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in. Where am I? Or am, or is this not mine? Where am I? What's going on here? Where's my stuff? Right here. Wow, okay, so it's a fairly decent sized area, if that's my camp right there. Homelessness. These people wait for more burgage plots cause is a loss of approval and possibly of freezing in winter. So homelessness cannot be part of a militia unit either. Okay. Still trying to kind of figure out what all this stuff is. I'll probably have to read this a little bit more again, but just kind of trying to get a rough idea. Used to construct new buildings and upgrade them. Timber. Construction. So this has like all my so timber, plank, stone, tools, wooden parts, roof tiles, and blocks. Food. So I have a bunch of bread, 20 bread. And that's four months of supply. There's a lot more stuff. There's like meat, vegetables, berries, eggs, apples, and honey. Fuel, firewood, and charcoal. So I have 20 firewood. Crops, no crops, but there's wheat, flax, barley, rye, dung, and fertilizer. So, like, I guess, okay, cool. Some of your animals can make crops. Crafting materials, holy shit, there's a lot of crafting materials here. Commodities, cloaks, clothes, candles, salt, ale, so expensive goods, I'm assuming. And then the crafting materials are, like, cheaper goods that you can make. Material, or military. For upgrading militia, use your ret ret retinue. Sidearms, war, war bows, small shields, large shields, spears, helmets, mail armor, plate armor. And oh shit. Saving? Okay, so auto save. Full arms. Is time moving right now? Yes, yeah, so time is moving right now. We're in March. Seasons are deeply connected to people's lives and affect different jobs. So spring, March, May, frequently raining, seasonal deposits regrow. Summer, June, August, crops grow, possibly droughts. Autumn, September, November, harvesting, plow and sow. Crops, winter, December to Feb. Seasonal resources are gone. Firewood consumption is doubled. Lack of firewood might cause freezing. Sheep shearing forbidden. Okay, so winters are pretty harsh. So exposed goods, generic storage, exposed goods, pantry, and homelessness. So we need to deal with this. So how do I deal with this? Treasury. I should probably deal with this right now. I have losing approval. So what do I do here? Roads? Roads and carts. Some workplaces allow villagers to use hand carts and transport up to 10 goods at once. However, pulling a hand cart off road is extremely slow, so make sure connecting your buildings to roads. Got it. So we have roads here. Construction. Every region in Manor Lords has strengths and weaknesses. Be sure to check all the resource deposits as well as investigate the soil fertility before deciding on the direction of your town. If your region is weak fertility, considering setting up trade early. Okay. So fertility deposits. Soil fertility. Logging camp, woodcutter's lodge, saw pit, 
forester's hut, winter hunting, forager hut, gathering, mining. Logistics, residential, farming. Hey, how do you check soil fertility? Farming, do I just click on this? Flexible plots. Some buildings have flexible borders. Place four points to designate an area. The cursor will snap to roads and buildings. Try to create an organic shape. You can leave more space for future extension upgrades. The first two points mark the front of the house by default. Plotting on plotting the fields. Okay, so this is probably yeah fertility. Fields and manor lords need to be very large to be effective, but also take a long plow long take long to plow by hand. For a starting village, try a field size of about one Morgan. Later, if you want the region to focus on farming, you can consider spending a development point to unlock heavy plow upgrade, which allows plowing much bigger fields far more efficiently, utilizing oxen. Also remember to check the ground fertility. Some crop types are more picky about soil they grow on. Okay. Place point, cancel, road connection point, house location, extension slot. Okay. We have like a road here. There's like a little split off and that kind of joins other places. There's like another like outskirt road, another outskirt type of road. So we have a lot of like outskirt roads. One that cuts across. But they essentially want us to start building here. I'm assuming you end up chopping down a lot of forestry here, maybe. Maybe we'll have to like... I don't know if this is a lot of room, not enough room. Maybe we'll have to expand out here. We'll figure it out. Okay. Um, I don't even know where to start here, to be perfectly honest. Granary, storehouse, pack station, pitching post. Well, I kind of want, they said to like pay attention to fertility. So underground water, so we have to use a well in the underground spots. Emmer fertility. Flax fertility. What's good here? Where's the where's what's my reference? What's good? And what's not good? Is red good? Is or is green good? Oh do, 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 do. Space to grow various crops, including wheat, flax, and barley. To employ peasants on fields, you need a military farmhouse. Smell, fire hazard, barley fertility, and rye fertility. So, what's good? Is green good? I would assume green is good. Yes. I see plus marks, plus marks, minus marks. Minus, double minus. Okay. So green's good, red's bad. Gotcha. Gotcha. We have rye, barley. Oops. I'm just going to pause the game right now. I don't want to, I'm like just kind of learning here and I feel like if I just keep it, yeah, yeah, like my public order's going down, my approval's going down. I'm just going to pause the game. I'm still kind of learning. I don't even know what I need to do right now. Obviously, I probably need to build houses and a storage spot for goods because clearly if it rains, I'm screwed. I'm just, I don't even know. Yeah, it doesn't even like, I would assume it should have like kind of like told me, hey, you need to build some houses here. You need to build a road here. Doesn't really give much of a tutorial. 
Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pause it. Kind of still kind of learning what I need to do here. So, wheat, the barley, really isn't any good spots here. Flax, a little bit of space, not very much space. It's still like in a minus, so that's probably like low fertility. And then like, there's like no fertility. Emmer, so is it, there's room for Emmer, whatever the freaking hell Emmer is. What is Emmer? I feel really dumb. Okay, so there's a decent amount of room for Emmer. A lot of room here, wherever the, all the forested area here. A little bit up here. So it doesn't really look like we have a lot of room for farming here. Rye, there's a little bit up here. Same kind of area as the Emmer. Rye's a little bit easier. Emmer, flax, there's nothing. Barley, there's nothing. So I have a bunch of underground water, that's good. Smell and fire hazard. Okay. Overlay. Okay, so that's that. So if I really think about this, there's really only like farming right here and up here, but like barely. If I want to go rye, maybe I do a small rye farm up here. I don't know how much the forest disappears when you start chopping wood down. Okay, it said you need to pay attention to that, so it doesn't look like I have much room for farming right now. Like, I don't know if that's a lot of room or not a lot of room. So, obviously, I'm going to have to build a market here. And then you have berries right here, I think. That's what berries are for you. Okay, so kind of started to kind of learn a little bit here. Okay, so this is where we're set up. I guess it would make sense not to want to kind of like start over a fertile area. Which, this isn't necessarily all that fertile like right here. And into even here. Like I wonder if we clear this and we put our town like right here. Start here and then we kind of work our way over here because like nothing is fertile right there. And it's like right on a nice little crossroads. I don't know if that's a bad idea. If like you get raided or something, but I think you can see other people's camps and stuff. And you can see them coming from a far distance away, so it shouldn't be that bad. Yeah. I still don't really know anything yet. Um, I only watched a couple videos just to kind of see what the game looked like. I didn't really really pay attention to what was going on um okay saving again so it auto saves probably every like five or so minutes it seems maybe 10 minutes okay we're gonna build a road we're gonna build a road we have this offshoot here let's just Start it off. It kind of flexes. So we have a homeless tent. We have a like a hitching post. There's all our storage here. There's all our wood here. I don't know how much room things take up yet. So I guess we'll just have to find out. So we'll just go straight road across. You can kind of, oh, you can kind of extend it still. And it'll form around stuff if it needs to. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just build it. Boom. There's our first road. So construction. There's gathering, mining, logistics. Residential is probably where I should start. I need five houses, or is it one house? So two timber, 
flexible plot moves living space for a single family or two families when expanded. Now, how much room does this take up? We have homeless tents right there. Well, I'll just start expanding into this area here. And just kind of go as far as you really want. Okay. So what happens if I just right there? And then... I don't know if I really want it to like... Let's just go here. And here. Let's cancel that. Oh, okay. So that's how you tell where the front door is facing and it's snapping so that's probably small plot but that's probably full plot of one residential small plot and then like so well we'll see we'll go there we'll pull it back wait what's going on Splot plot too small oh i must have did a double clicked by accident uh, we'll just go back to here. So that's three plots. And I can expand out the back a little bit if I need. Okay, so we're going to cancel that. I go this big. Is that enough for four plots? And we'll put enough room to expand. Okay, so that's four plots. With enough room to expand in the back. I like that. Boom, right there. So I have the game paused right now. I'm gonna press play. They start doing construction if they're unassigned. So there's four plot points. Four burgers plots. Construction cost eight. I have eight timber. I have five families, so I probably have to build another another house here. I'm gonna I'm gonna make another plot. Right on the other side here. So we're gonna go burgers plot. Oh, shoot. Did I not do something right there? I'm gonna cancel it. Oh, shoot. That's why they didn't start on it. Okay, so we'll try this again. I'm gonna actually take this all the way and probably try and fit five plots there. So we're gonna go start here. Go here. Go back. Can I get five plots in here? Not enough goods. So it won't let you if you don't have enough goods. Interesting. If I start at the corner and don't go nearly as far. Not enough goods. So five plots cost ten and I only have eight. So I can only build four. Gotcha. Okay, so eventually I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start at the corner. I originally didn't want to start at the corner here for some reason. I'm just gonna start at the corner. We're gonna do four plots. With room for expansion. Keep it kind of rigid right now. And you have to hit the uh, Gotcha. So you have to hit this the uh the hammer in the middle careful you're about to run out of timber and block yourself make sure you have a logging camp before placing more building unassigned families work on construction automatically yeah you already told me that or i guess i i looked at that okay so i'm paused right now so I'm out of timber, so I'm gonna build a logging camp. So, construction. Gathering. Logging camp. 
Construct cost. Two oh shit. Workers fell near trees to produce timber. Uh I cost two timber. So how do I oh shit. Did I fuck up? What the hell? You didn't tell me that. Um, do I have to restart then? Pause this building. Can I? Well, what the hell? two timber. Well, that wasn't freaking straightforward. What the hell? Okay. So I can only build three houses then, and I have to build a timber. Okay, a logging camp here. Um, I kind of want to clear this area, so like, I wonder... Hmm. Do I need to put a timber clamp or a lumber camp down, and then like, slowly take it, or can I like, do a full on like can I demolish this on purpose if I if I put plots there I wonder if it takes trees down so then we're gonna start it yeah we're gonna start a lumber camp over here I don't know if I actually want to do that take away animal slots maybe I'll start one ah I don't know what to do here I'm not gonna okay I'm just being like oh whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 what's this? Oh, clay deposit. I thought it was like a fire. I thought that was like a fire. Okay. Um, I'm overthinking this. This isn't that difficult. Just start working. Um, I'm just gonna... I guess I'll do a limber camp over here, maybe? Logging camp. Right on the road here. I kind of feel exposed if I do that. Just like, even though, like, I know I, I, I know you have time, but like, maybe if I throw it over here, man, I feel a little less exposed. Right on the roundabout here, like, there's a little interesting divot here. Go right here. So that's two. I'm still paused. Does it take time under construction? So I'm gonna unpause. Timber requires oxen to be moved. Villagers will automatically get the oxen when they need it. Got it. Okay. My guys are about to go to work here. Oh. One log at a time. So I have five families, I believe, right? It's not... Unassigned. It's five families, not five people, right? That's why there's more than five people. I'm not gonna lie, this game could use a little bit of a tutorial. Maybe I just supposed to mess up and figure it out. four times where is the passage of time 
tell you? No timer. Regional wealth. Amount of money owned by villagers from this region can be used for import or converted to treasury via tax policy. Treasury. Your personal money, usually collected from taxes, can be used for diplomacy, hiring retinue, and constructed finish. Burgage plot level one. Sweet. Uh, construction from taxes can be used for diplomacy, hiring retinue, and mercenaries, as well as sell settling a new region. Build a manor to enable taxation in any controlled region. Cool. Burgage plots. Almost will move to the plot, and if approved pool is high enough, it may might attract new families too. However, families need more than just space to be happy. Click the building to check in on their residential requirements. Burgage plot level one. Upgrade to level 2. Settlement requires 4 timber. Requires small village. Requirements not met. Level 2 burgess plot. Generate 1 wealth. 1 regional wealth. Shit. Shit. What did I just do? Shit. Oh, there we go. Uh, generate 1 wealth per family per month. Generates. Okay. Unlocks new expansions, including artisan workshops. Residential requirements will increase. Okay. Construct a backyard extension. Extensions add extra protection functionality to the residential building. Vegetable garden. Bakery extension, smith workshop, blacksmith workshop, brewery, chicken coop. So there's like a farming, goat shed, apple orchard, bakery extension, tailor workshop, armor workshop, blacksmith, cobbler, that Fletcher, brewery, and joiner. Huh. Backyard extensions. So you're, you build homes. Backyard extensions. So residential homes have extensions. Is there separate shops though? I thought there would be separate shops. Construction finished. New mercenary companies available. Family members join the settlers. Family members join one of the settlers. Construction finished. Burgage plot. What about my forest? Still under construction. They've they're still kind of like they focus one at a time here. Livestock one. I've only three months of food supply now. Kitchen post. Supplies. I'm gonna want to cover my supplies here. I need wood. living space. How many families this region can currently accommodate to increase it, build, or expand your burgage plot? So I can accommodate two, and then it has like a plus one next to it. And I have five families, and I need three more, it says here. I can only build three, and then I need them to build this freaking camp over here. How do I make this person... Can I click on this guy? Unassigned flattening ground. Can't 
click on them individually. We all know what that means. Clicking and dragging is kind of like maybe selecting, probably for like selecting militia. Okay, so this road's getting wider. That is sweet. I like that. I, I knew that was a feature. That's awesome. The more travel the road is, the wider it gets. That is so cool. That is so cool. Um, I'm still building a third house here. It takes a fair amount of time. I've already went through a full month's worth of supply already. I'm still in March. I really wish there was like a... Am I not seeing something here? Wish there was like a timer. New mercenary companies available. Construction finished. Family members join this. What does that mean? Family members join one of the settlers. Family members join one of the settlers. So does that just mean like they get more family? I'm confused. I didn't really finish looking at this, so. The residential, requirements, amenities, water access. Family members join one of the settlers. Church level, water access, market supply, Fuel stall supply, fuel stall supply, clothing stall supply. Enough fuel for the market stalls. At least one type of food supply for the marketplace. Armaments. Nothing. Okay. General. Refueled. How much fuel do I have? Nine fire, 19 firewood. Generic storage, 15. Pantry, 25. Nothing is stored inside. People. Residential, fa residing families, one of one. Heinz. Albrecht. Dorothea. Resting at home, waiting, waiting. Unassigned. Reassigned family to a different workplace. Can I sign someone? To the logging camp. Resi family reassign. Construction. Medium. Transported goods to... Storage. Log storage. 028. Nothing is stored inside. Do I have timber now? I all of a sudden I have timber. Am I crazy here? That was fast. They're not even done building this, are they? Oh no, sorry. That's families. Unassigned families, sorry. For some reason I thought that was So I have four unassigned families. One just got assigned to timber. Hopefully that'll uh, keep going. I'm going to, I think I have to, okay, so we're going to take this one. People unassigned and they're like out. Heinz. So I have two Heinzes. Heinz. Your paws and dits. So we have neighbors that have the same name. We'll, una, we'll assign them and I want to assign them to... Invalid assignment. So I probably have to like put out like some sort of berry farm. The logging camp for timber. Woodcutter's lodge. One timber firewood. Workers felt nearby trees to produce firewood. Saw pit. Damn. 
Workers transfer timber into planks. Forester's hut. Workers plant new trees in the specified zone so you can, like, replant trees. Okay. Charcoal kiln. This is something you unlock later on. Hunting camp. Workers hunt wild animals. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It started to rain. My supplies are uncovered. Uh-oh. I need, um... Forester, forager's hut. So I need a forager's hut. Cost one timber, which I don't have right now, but um, I'll add that. Shit. Uh, supplies. We need to cover that. How do we cover that? Logistics. Granary. Storehouse. Workers collect, store, and distribute goods using generic storage. If needed, they will also automatically set up stalls on the marketplace to distribute the stored goods to the burgage plots. Pack station. This building is used to set up a barter connection, allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region in your command. Employs mules to transport up to 20 goods per trip. Hitching post. Provides one stable space. Assigned families become permanent ox guides, which speeds up logistics. So I can assign someone to be an ox guide. A full family? Damn, dude. It's crazy. So, workers collect, store, and distribute goods using the pantry. If needed, they will also automatically set up stalls, collect, store, and distribute goods using the pantry. So I need to build this. ASAP. Takes 10 stone and 2 wood. And I only have 20 stone. Damn. I need to cover this stuff. Or does this stuff go into the houses eventually? Because I think this is going to get ruined by the rain here. Damn it. It's starting to get dark. Is that just because it's raining? I really wish... Oh, we're in April now. Oh, fuck. Okay. I really need some timber here. I really, really, really need some timber here. So, in order to get to the forging... Like, how big is this area for foraging? Is it, like, the entire area here? This looks like it's just in this red area. Can't really tell. Is there, like, another area here? Yeah, I can kind of see red. I'm wondering if I put down, a, like, a road, if that's destroying shit. I'm gonna actually just carry this road through. Don't forget to brace the frame of the door. We don't want it to sag. So I'm gonna take this road up here. Um I guess we could have used that road for the hunting there, but we're gonna actually just take it up here for quicker access. Okay, so that didn't really destroy much. Awesome, okay. And then... Sorry. Can't really see the road here. Shit, where's the road I just made? It just came up. Kinda hard to see. Is there another layer thing I can do here? Road connection point. Adjust curvature. Cancel. Place road. Can't really see. It's okay. Whatever. This building has no assigned families. Select it. 
and assign a family whenever you'd like to start production. Uh, I'd like to start production right now, please. While human workforce has no ass while human workforce has to be assigned by default, livestock workforces is shared between workplaces. However, you can bind it to a workplace permanently in the advanced tab. Just watch out so that you have unassigned oxen if you have any construction going on. You can have an ox dedicated to a shop or like obviously if you have a mining or a logging camp here, you're going to want the ox to kind of constantly go. But I only have one ox. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff that I don't know right now, and I'm just like, I, I'm just gonna keep it paused right now until I kind of like come at this. I thought I already assigned a family. It said assigned family right now, so if I click off that, thought I assigned this family woodcutter. Show workplace. Felling tree, waiting. Logging camp. General. So you can assign three families? Get to work, well, I'll assign two right now. Seeing as how we need... Or maybe I'll just assign three right now. We need a shit ton of timber so we can keep building. So we'll just go with three families right now, I guess? Unpause it. People. Oh, yeah. Felling tree, felling tree, felling tree. I wonder how quickly that'll uh, that'll pop back up. Um, got here. Um, Two months of food. Really need a forager hut. We have people. Felling tree, felling tree, disbranching tree, disbranching tree. Felling tree, disbranching tree. So people are working on it. Unlimited work area. We'll probably build a zone. We'll just go unlimited for now. I'm not too concerned about deforesting this area. Okay, so I have three families working on it. That seems like a lot. Obviously, it's going to take a little bit of time here. I still have three homeless families. No timber. Do I need to make planks or is timber good enough? I think it's just timber, right? Especially, I'm looking for... Hunting and gathering. So do I need... What do I need here? No construction costs. Jeez Louise. Okay, so we're gonna go and hunt. So we're gonna make a hunter's right here, hunting camp right here. I did not realize that you can make one without a... Workers hunt wild animals and produce meat and hides. So we got one there, so we... I'll reassign this family. So 
reassign family to a different workplace or show workplace. So re reassign to hunting. Hopefully we can kind of get some supplies before this runs out, which yeah, like I said, I really wish there was like some sort of timer or clock here. Currently showing surplus goods default. Surplus shows stock minus reserve numbers of goods. It can go negative, for example, if you recruit or m missing equipment. If you have five planks in place of building that costs five planks to build, your stock remains five, but surplus becomes zero since resources get reserved for construction. So it'll still show your stuff here. Currently showing total goods stored, surplus goods. Not entirely sure what that means. Three timber. We've, we have three timber. Well, I reassigned a family to hunting. So maybe I don't need berries just yet. Medium construction, so still under construction. Hunting limit 10. Generic storage 12. Pantry 36. Nothing is stored inside. When population of a herd drops to this number, workers will stop hunting. It's a berry deposit. I believe there's... Oh, wait a minute. What the hell? Oh, what the hell? They moved? They moved. Shit. Uh, okay. Oops. Maybe hunting is a little bit more difficult than I thought. Guess I'll continue this path here. Don't know where I ended it. Can't see. Oh, now I can. We're going to pull this path a little closer to the... I guess the center of the berries. Yeah, so they move. Okay. Shit. I didn't know that. Now I do. Okay, so we're gonna move this just a tad bit closer. I probably am already in like a good foraging spot, but we're just gonna move it a little closer to there. And then we will drop in Forging hut. Saving. So I have eight timber now. Awesome. I'm going to build another house. Residential. We'll just go boring right here. Oh, shit. No. Oh. Okay, so you have to start with the... I only really want two here. Boom. We have two more. Instantly shows you you took away the timber because I think I had eight there. So obviously it'll take a little bit of time. I'm gonna reassign. We seem to be gathering fairly quickly here. So I'm gonna actually reassign this family to the berry gathering. Maybe once these houses get built, I'll reassign those to woodcutting, but for now, I'm 
going to drop those guys to here. So it clears an area fairly quickly. But I did have three families going at it, so maybe it'll uh, calm down a little bit if there's only one family working at it. And then I did have a family assigned to this. Is that the family I just reassigned? Which... Hunting. Okay. So it's almost, yeah, I should have almost set that up over here. I didn't realize that the animals moved. I thought they were set right there before. Well, hopefully it's not really too detrimental that it's super far away. Kind of seems like it is a little bit detrimental. Like, I almost want to just replace that and put that over here for the... I'll just leave it for now. I'm sure that's probably a bad thing that I did that, but I'll uh, I'll leave it for now. And then we will have, uh, at least we'll have berries or foraging going along here. So hopefully that'll restock us pretty quickly here. Why are my supplies all outside right now? It said there's like nothing stored inside. Can I store stuff inside? How do you store stuff inside? have someone at least starting on the new homes. That's good. Is there ox coming in? Transporting. Probably to this place, I hope. Or maybe even to our berries. I guess it did require one timber, so that might be actually going to the berries. Which is not a bad thing. I really need food at this point. Hopefully berries, and I guess I do have hunters going at it, so. Hopefully a little bit of hunting, a little bit of berries will so, uh, suffice for now. I do need to build some freaking like, storage for our supplies. Continue our road system through here. I kind of, like I said, I wanted to kind of maybe clear this area out. I wonder if you just start building there, if you kind of just clear the trees automatically. We'll just continue this road through. Probably split that off. Okay, sweet. So we have a forager hut. Hell yeah. on it. Do you have four? No people. Advanced. Let's get to work. So that's families. That's families. Does that just move this? Okay, so I have one family working on it. Click on this. I have two families Actually, working on this shopping. still. People. Yeah, so I still have two families working on this. What happens if I go to this one? Did I remove people from working on this? 
No, I have one family working on this. Interesting. But they're using this road, and they're, they're gonna go all the way around there, and all the way back up. That was really dumb. Hmm. I really gotta pay attention to the wild animals and see if they move again. I, I swore they were over here when I first started the game. Request more market area for their stall. Family requests more market area for their stall. What do you mean their stall? They don't have a stall. Who's stall? So this is gonna actually be an interesting main road. Here's our cross junction here. Watch your head there! We're gonna tie this into here. Okay, bring this across. Maybe just a little bit more, and then I'm gonna tie it into this right there. We have a residential area right here. I'll probably put more. Mm. I was thinking market here, but maybe if we put our market a little bit more inwards, a little bit here. I might put like another house here, maybe two more plots of housing here. We'll make a market like right here. So if I go construction, residential, logistics, granary, storehouse, pack station. Use this building to set up a barter and connectioning. Allow you to send and receive goods between this and another region. Is there army, map, no. Close. Help. Settings. Roads. Construction. Mining. Gathering. Logistics. Farming. Industry. Trade. Trading posts. Enables trading with visiting traveling merchants, trade points, and trading posts in other regions. Regional wealth is currency used for trade when employment when employed one family member travels to nearest possible destination to conduct trade while other families stocks damaged by weather Fuck. i knew that was gonna happen um while other families members help manage the inventory if needed assigned families will automatically set up stalls on the marketplace to sell goods and import to sell imported goods livestock trading post enables livestock with trade posts and other settlement regions said they needed more room for their well, i got homelessness exposed goods yes i need a so Move to a granary. So we need to build a granary. So we have enough timber at this point. So let's go granary. I definitely, yeah. It's a lot to kind of think about. So granary, might as well just throw it right here. I don't see any reason why not to. It's right next to our, maybe we'll just throw it on this side, I guess. I'll throw it right here. Be right next to our foraging hut. It'll take a little bit. I'm gonna probably end up moving that. I don't like how that's located. I don't like where that's located. Maybe I build a road? Seems a little weird, but maybe I build a road. It doesn't cost me any money or anything, so. If I tee off a road right next to this. Build it. And then from here, maybe... Hopefully it doesn't disturb too much. Like, I don't know if it disturbs the area. We just connected our forager's hut and our hunting hut. Once again, need to make sure and look and see if they move. 
May. We have two supplies. We probably just lost supply with the rain. Running out of fuel. Not enough supplies. Food or more fuel. Check the supplies tooltip for more details. The storehouse is what the granary is for goods. And then I need generic storage. So if I go construction, storehouse is probably. If needed, also automatically stalls the marketplace to distribute stored goods to the burgage plots. Set up stalls on the marketplace to distribute these goods. Well, I'm actually gonna. What? Nope. Nope. I'm gonna just put it here. Might be detrimental. You might want to probably put those closer to, like, your stuff here, but I'm gonna. Unassign a family here. So, these general people, these guys are working. These guys are transporting and hunting. These guys are my foragers. Be branching a tree. Flattening down construction. That's kind of what I want these guys doing. Perfect. Constructing, ox constructing, yeah. Perfect. That's what I want. I need these areas built. So then that stuff will get filled into there. And then we need to work on getting uh, fuel. We only have seven fuel left. Damn, dog. We started with 20. Woodcutter's Lodge. That kind of makes me think I should have put that... Sediment increased. Level increased. Disease. Well, I'm gonna pause this. Development point, Gandalf. People suffering from disease may stop working. Access to herbs might speed up their recovery. While a varied diet increases disease resistances. So I have someone diseased right now? Is that what just happened? To get more population, you need to have enough empty burgage plots, and your approval needs to be over 50%. Okay. Damn. There's a lot to really worry about here. Okay, so I need more firewood. Where's a good spot to put it? Do I put it over here? Or do I maybe put it in town? I don't know. What's what am I supposed to do? Uh, maybe I'll learn. Um, I'm just gonna put it here. It's probably not the smartest spot, but I'm just gonna do it. Press play. Um, so definitely need these families. I think they are automatically constructing, gathering berries. Gathering, flattening ground. So these guys are constructing. I have two unassigned families though. Hunting. Debranching. There's my loggers. These ones are flattening ground. So there's a construction family. 
Transporting. Is that another construction? No, that's the construction. This is probably my, yeah, my gathering family. So there is families dedicated to construction. Region wealth, public order, my oh, approval no, rating, you. homelessness. It's, I should be fine now. So goods, storage, enough supplies. I need to build, this needs to happen. I'm running really low on fuel. Something tells me I don't need a problem. I probably don't need a store. Like, I just need these buildings to happen, and then I probably don't need to assign anyone to these, I'm assuming. I'm really low on food here. They are storing stuff here, so I have food here. Meat, berries. So it's more or less worried about my fuel. Okay. So that's a combination of both fuel and food. Interesting. So I have food, now I just need tim or timber, right? Or no. Firewood. I only have five left. I really need this to get going here. Something, like I said, something tells me that the storage won't need require a family, but this will require a family. I could be wrong. And then materials. I feel like I had stone. Yeah, so 10 stone. So this cost 10 stone. I don't even look. Storage. So this, the granary costs two timber and 10 stone. Storehouse just cost two timber, so that's that's fine. Pack station, set up a barter connection. So maybe I need to set up pack station. Is that kind of like my market? Gathering, mining, residential, well. Should probably throw a well in here. So we're gonna actually throw the well right there. cost of timber. Provides drinking water to the burgage plots. Enables firefighting. Cool. Must be built over a underground water, which I just did. I guess that's priority because they just started working on it right away, so probably should have built that right away. Saving. Marketplace? Okay, so that's in residential. Tavern. Church. Corpse pit. Corpse pit. Not all deserve to be buried on consecrated ground. Use this building to get rid of raiders' corpses quickly. That's hilarious. Fulfills one level of faith requirements for the burgage plots. Provides hallowed grounds for the burial of the dead villagers. Working workers become grave diggers. Fills entertainment requirements for the burgage plots. Like many of your citizens, it'll need ale to function. Damn, dog. A lot to go on. Uh, marketplace. No construction cost. Provides a space for assigned families to set up their stalls and distribute their produce for the burgage plots. A healthy supply and demand ratio of goods is needed to fulfill residential requirements and keep approval rating high. So this doesn't cost anything. It's a small little tiny post. Where do I put this? Oh, it's a four point thing. We're gonna go right here. Uh, 
I don't know if this is good enough. So I see three stall spots. Is that what is that what that the plus signs mean? I'm just gonna go right here. Supply and demand. A well-supplied marketplace is the lifeblood of your town. Assigned families will set up stalls automatically. As long as there's enough space on the market. And I kind of watched the video here. It's not a crazy amount of space there. Hover over specific categories to check your current supply and demand. Burgage plots closest to the market get the market requirements fulfilled first. So you kind of want to make that center of your town. I kind of made that outskirts of my town. So I might have wanted to make that actually over here. I'm just going to leave it there for now. I don't know how close and stuff you're supposed to make stuff. I don't know. I guess we'll just learn. We're just learning right now. So we set up a market spot, set up a well, set up a storehouse, we set up a granary. We don't have any more firewood. We really need people to work on firewood. So I might have to just automatically assign a family there. The forager. Unassigned. So you guys are going to get assigned to this. We have a lot of berries. A lot of meat. We really need a place to store it though. Really low on firewood. We have some hides from, from uh, hunting. Yara level one, small village. Each level gets you a development point that you can use to specialize your town and make it more efficient. Burgage plots, two more burgage plots. Specialize your region. After you reach the next settlement level, you will be granted a development point to spend. Unlock development branches to make your region more efficient. To enact policies, you need to ro rise your administration level by building administrative buildings, like a manor. So Goldhof. It's a small village. I can branch out into four different directions. Foreign supplies, trade. So that's like... Commerce. Heavy plow, orchard, so this is farming, trapping, forest management, beekeeping. So this is more naturalistic farming and hunting gathering. This is more farming and military. Charcoal burning, military, armor making. So what do I want to spend my money on right now? Trapping enables hunters to skillfully lay traps in the forest, which may give a passable income of meat. Doubles capacity of berry deposits. Beekeeping, a new building, apiary. Workers collect honey. Region can sustain to two apiaries by default. Placing more will not increase the yield. Okay, interesting. So that, th these are like if you get more families coming in, you can kind of unlock more of these and give families more sh stuff to do. Slowly multiplying, sheep breeding, heavy plow. Foreign suppliers, new building, firewood cart. Permanent market stall, which provides passive income of firewood. 
As long as the region has enough regional wealth, region does not pay the transport fee. Must be placed on the marketplace. The food cart. A permanent market stall which supplies a passive income of bread. As long as the region has enough regional wealth. Region does not pay the transport fee. Must be placed in the marketplace. Always cost a maximum of 25 region wealth. Supplying a new trade route. Okay. Basic armor making. Enables blacksmiths to craft helmets. New upgrade. Armor's workshop. Enables production of helmets. Charcoal building. Charcoal kiln. Converts one firewood into two charcoal. Making refuel. Okay, so what do I want here? I don't even know what I want. So this is development. Policies. Wild animals. Working in progress. Work in progress. Okay, production. Nothing. Development. Well, what do I want? I don't even know what I want. What am I supposed to do? Well, I'm not farming right now. There's not really any good plotting on my land. Eventually, I'm going to want to make armor making here. What's good? What am I supposed to... I don't even know what's good here. Um, I'm going to go with charcoal, I guess. Converts one firewood into two charcoal, making refuel twice as efficient. Cool. So that's what I did. I don't know if what... I don't know. I don't know if that's good or not. Construction finished. Food stall. So that's my berry farmers, probably. And maybe my... Yeah, so foraging. And then there's two people gathering while one person's going to work the stall. This is still under construction. Under construction, under construction. This is still under construction. Really slow. I thought I assigned a family to this. I have public order, low rating, I have good wealth, I really need some fucking firewood. I only have four left. Ox is waiting, guide coming. Transporting berries. The hunter. Woodcutter. Unassigned. I thought I assigned them to fucking woodcut. Forager. Firewood cutter. So this is the firewood cutter. So these are the construction. They're building the well is what I'm assuming. Does this already get made? Or is there not really any construction? Transported good. So they're probably having to wait for the ox. There's too much use for the ox right now. Damn. Okay. Okay. Just have to have patience, but damn, I'm really running low on firewood. It's May. So we're still in spring. So we have all of summer before I, I'm assuming like cold is a f issue. You kind of deforest the area fairly quickly. But I did have families assigned to that, a lot of them. We have 24 timber now. One market.
The ox is just a non-stop. Where did the ox go? I feel like that was a mistake. I kind of want to move that over here. They're still over here. Hunting camp is free. What happens if I... I'm gonna sign a family there. I wonder if they still transport. That's all I'm worried about. So are they going to transport the goods out of here? Well, we're good on food for now. At least for now. I don't know how quickly meat and berries get... I have like nine months of food supply, so we're good on food. I really need firewood. And they haven't even started building it yet. So I unassigned that family up for the hunters. So hopefully the hunters turn into construction workers. Which I'm gonna make them Kinda looks like they're working on it, so I'm gonna actually not make them do anything. I really need firewood though. As soon as I see this. So we're in June now. Interesting. One stall. Supply and demand. Fuel, zero. Fuel variety, 30%. Clothing, zero. Free stall locations, 20 stalls. So I have a lot of space there for stalls. So that's a 20 stall marketplace? Crazy. And that's one res residential house, so it's like... Okay. Okay, well, I think that was a good start to Goldhoff, our first Manor Lord's location. That was a good look into Manor Lord. Um, if you like what you saw, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. It would really help a lot. Uh, until next time, peace.